Hello, my beautiful butterflies. So I got a new tarot deck. And it's not just a new tarot deck. It's Miss Cleo Tarot Power Deck. Trademark. Okay, so um, I was on Amazon. And Amazon has a ton of tarot decks. If you're looking for tarot decks. And I saw this. And I thought it was just funny. Like, haha, Miss Cleo. And I thought about getting it as like a novelty, ad, novelty item. But then... As I was going through the cards on the screen, like, you know, the preview, I was like, wait, this might be interesting. So what I did was I, I ordered it and because I like to get the let tarot decks get to know me, I slept with it next to my bedside table for a while, a few weeks. Now, it wasn't my intention for it, for it to be a few weeks. It's usually like a week or so, but I think this is going on six weeks or so six eight weeks it's been a while since i bought this it's not an official unboxing um i haven't gone through it gone through it but i did take it out of the box and take out the the wrappings but uh, this is my first time actually officially going through the cards and i wanted you guys to go with me along this with me so listen i really thought it would be like comical like getting a miss cleo tarot deck but then as i was looking at the um the cards like i mentioned on amazon I was really impressed with the designs, the Egyptian designs of the deck. And I was like, wait, this might be something I might be interested in. And so, um, yeah, so I haven't actually used these yet. I plan to use this in um, my future readings. I'm about to do some readings after this video. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to share it with you guys. It was like less than ten dollars like nine eight eight nine dollars i guess ten when you add the tax um to it but um these cards are really they're really great like look at the strength card i love this i love that card it's like um i like how the lion is rearing up normally the, you see the the lion is tame by the by the woman in the card or um, depending on how it's depleted um, depreciated depreciated <laughs> depreciate the depleted there we go depleted but um, this one the the line still has this it was not tame this is not a, a house cat you know I really like that and this one is the hermit card this one is showing more of like a journey. We have the Wheel of Fortune. I have um, the regular, the traditional Rider Rat deck right here, actually. Let me see if I could find some to compare quickly. Let's see, we have the Hangman. And we have the deck card. Well, actually, let me take out the deck card. The deck card, because right here I have, this is the um, the Lysir deck. This is the deck card for the Lysir deck. And we could compare it to the Raider card as well. Temperance. The Devil card. The Devil doesn't look scary, right? It has more of a, um, when I look at this card, I'm thinking about like choices. Like you have a choice, good or evil. The tower card. The tower, tower card is usually a tower falling or something crumbling. So this is not um, too out of the ordinary. Except for the, the fire coming out of the tower kind of looks like a man. It reminds me of um that car salesman balloon thing in that wibby wobby that's what that reminds me of right there actually star card this um he's giving me more like he's an uh, offering like he's giving an offering the moon card the sun card judgment 
I'm not going to go through all these, just the majors. The world. All right, so let's do a quick comparison. Um, it's a debt, right? We have the high priestess is right there, so I'll use that. The devil's right here, I'll use that. Hermit's right here. Um, what else? Uh, hangman. Empress. I should have put these aside ahead of time, right? I wasn't really thinking. Tower card. What else? Emperor. Deck. All right. Oh, world's right here, so I'll use world. All right, so we have the deck card. It's traditional. We have a man, a skeleton, skeleton man riding on a, a horse with what I'm assuming is the Hierophant. Two children. And a man, which I never noticed this man before laying here dead. And I'm sure somebody who's far smarter than me knows what this symbol stands for. The Lysier card, we have a cloak and a dagger. Well, not a dagger, a, um, this is, this reminds me of the staff of the, um, of death. When you see a, a death. Um, depicted in movies or cartoons or or anything really you see the the cloak man and the staff and this is what this is reminding me of but you you have on the bottom rebirth so that usually symbolizes change a change is coming a change happened it doesn't always every once in a while it does symbolize actual death but it doesn't normally do this one is giving me more like forgiveness, like I'm asking for forgiveness because he's on his knees, crying, begging. We have the staff. We have the staff here. So there's there's um, some similarity to the traditional, but not really a lot, is there? I'm sure if we dig into the, the pictures, we'll see more symbols. Like this is giving me more this vibe right here. But that's also in all these decks, so that could just be a coincidence. You know? So that's that. Let's quickly look at one more. Uh, oh, High Priestess is right here. So I'll do High Priestess and then that'll be it. So high priestess, high priestess, and then let's find high priestess here. High priestess would be, yeah. All right, so in the traditional, we have the B and the J. Every time I say B and J, my mind goes in the gutter. I'm not going to lie. We have a scroll. This is the traditional Raiders Rate, Raiders rate card. <laughs> um, colorism, blue. We have the moon anchored by the sun, symbolizing the intuition of the high priestess because the moon um, moon is emotion, intuition. That's why you usually see the moon card when it comes to a moon symbolism when acknowledging intuition, um, like moon goddess, prediction, things like that. You have the two towers, black and gray, but I'm... We could say black and white as well, right? But it's in the co in the coloring, it's gray. Um, fruits, yellow, yellow moon. Here in the Cleo Cleo deck, we have the highest priestess. This is more of um, Egyptian goddess vibes, really. This is what this is giving me. Um, yellow and white. Blue cloak, 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 blue, again, intuition, white, um, innocence, purity. We have a scroll, a scroll, same as here. We have, um, like a helm, helmet, helm. It's like... I don't know, it's giving me, it's giving me like Thor energy, to be honest with you. Like a Thor, 
Asgard. <laughs> I'm thinking about the movie with the, the um, what was the last movie with Thor where they had the bottle, the guy with the head. My mind is going, but that's that's the vibe it's giving me. Um, also to note, that instead of using Roman numbers, they use actual um, numbers, regular numbers, <laughs> English numbers. Thank you, Joy. Come on, um, helmets, the crown. It, this is giving me helmet vibes over here compared to here where it's a crown. It feels more like a helmet, um, like going to battle, really. She's holding up a staff. She's not. And then we have the Lightseer deck where, again, you do still have the moon symbolism, but this is more like, um, it feels more like a, a hair piece than a crown. They're showing like her download coming from the heavens. She is still clock, um, cloaked by two columns, but instead of columns here, it's more like curtains. We still have the blue and the white. Um, it's more focused on her face. We have three dots here to give balance. We have a cross here. We have the um, the grapes here that's in this picture, but it's around her neck as well as here as well. There is no grapes here, but we do have a heart. So yeah, so um, just giving you guys a quick video. Um, it does come with the standard um, book. If you have like, if this is your first time using a tarot, I'm gonna assume that these are, even comes with tarot spreads. I'm gonna assume that these are the basic definitions for each one. Let's use, since we just finished with High Priestess, let's do High Priestess real quick. Oh, it gives a brief history of tarot if you're interested. Um, High Priestess. Secrets, hidden facts, upcoming events, supernatural wisdom, learning. Something is hidden. Something is being kept a secret, possibly by a female. Double check all information. Something is still hidden. Mysterious events, especially supernatural, may occur. In the reverse, passionate feelings and vanity. So yeah, pretty um, standard definition. So it's going by standards, but it has, again, it has more of an Egyptian feel. If you like this video and you like to watch future videos of me using these decks, go ahead and give me a subscribe, give me a like. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and again, I cannot wait to use this deck. Until next time, bye.